Hello everybody and welcome back to Mass Effect 1 Legendary Edition. Uh, so the episode is still very pixelated as you can probably tell, but this is an episode that was two and a half hours long that I managed to squeeze into a 37 minute video. So it is very jam packed, full of action and fun stuff and funny things. At least I think so. I, I worked really hard on getting it edited down because I didn't want you guys to have to see like the pixelated stuff for too long. So uh, yeah, this is this well, this isn't the last of the pixelated stuff, but it's the final side quests and last minute missions that I wanted to get done all packed into one episode. So I hope you all enjoy, and the video will start in a second. Um. Message from Admiral oh. Hackett, Commander. Oh. Passing it through. We just received a report. <laughs> Looks like this Geth incursion was bigger than we thought. They were probably preparing for a major defense oh, from no. the system. We're increasing patrols in the Armstrong cluster to make sure they can't establish another foothold in the region. Nice job, Shepard. You saved a lot of human lives on this mission. No, I saved a lot of lives in general, not just human lives, buddy. And also, I'm technically blacklisted right now. <laughs> so it's actually really funny that Hackett's like, hey, good job. And it's like, it's totally ignoring the fact that I am technically blacklisted right now. Let's go to the Hawking Cluster. I don't know if we've been there. We'll see. I could look it up online. There's like a whole list of all the planets and stuff that you can go to. Um, for minerals, like minerals lists and stuff like that. But, oh, I think I've been here. Dang it, I've been here. Yeah, okay. There's no other system in this cluster. Hawking. Let's try sticks. Theta. But yeah, the mineralists are essentially like I don't I don't know what planets I've been to and I've, which I've picked stuff up off of, so I don't know, I might have to streamline it. Commander, we've got an incoming distress signal. Patching through to you. Yes! Mayday! 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 This is Lieutenant Marie Durand, 314th Infantry, Alliance 10th Frontier Division. The listening post has been overrun by yes. unidentified hostile life forms. Request immediate I knew it was close to the Galactic Center. I knew this particular mission was close to the Galactic Center. I just didn't know exactly which system it was in. So this is good. This is this is one of the two that I definitely wanted to do. This is the Rachni incursion. Uh, the cursory. <gasps> That's so cool. See, this is one of those super super cool mystery things. The cursory initial scans from the Alliance surveyor ship Ibn Battuta show geometric patterns in the northern hemisphere deserts, visible only in the ultraviolet band. Normandy sensors see nothing of the kind. Whoa. Let's go kick some Rachni butt. Oh, we need to go down there. The warden, the warden takes their fancy swords for granted, right? They're like, I just, these pop up all the time, man. Okay. Did you die? First Lieutenant Durand, ma'am. 3rd Brigade, 14th Infantry Regiment, and I am damn glad I to really see love her armor. Report! <sighs> and I would, we need help. We heard you needed some backup. Actually, we need to get the hell out of here. But I guess your ship couldn't carry us all. They dropped us here a few months back. We get supplies every couple weeks. We didn't see anything local that was more dangerous than lichen. Yesterday, these animals started coming out of the ground. No idea where they're from. This is what's left out of 90 men. I'm the ranking officer. Why are you out here in the first place? There's been a lot of pirate activity in this cluster. We set up a chain of listening posts in the local systems, in case they have a staging base. We do have a ship in orbit. We could bombard them. Wouldn't do much good. They're moving around deep underground. The only time they come near the surface, and they're right on our position. You bombard them, you take us out too. They're not animals, they're ascension species. You study history? They're called Rachni. Never heard of them. Can't say I care. What we just fought was a probe. Our seismic sensors are picking up a crap load more on their way up from underground. We've got five minutes, tops. 
We might be able to hold them off if we were at peak, but you can see the fighting's busted this place up. Do what you can to secure your position. We'll see if we can get some of your defenses operational. Aye, aye. The thing is... You heard the woman. Everybody pool magazines and grenades. Take a leak and a drink while you can. And if anyone wants to smoke, it's as good a time smoke as Smoke when you got them. Yep, yep, yep. It was before. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're gonna do that. Did I do it? Oh no, I don't have any more health in it, and my, my game is stuck. My game is stuck, my game is stuck. Mm, I'm gonna scream. <laughs> I'm gonna scream. I, this actually might make me uh, switch down. They do a decent amount of damage. Holy hell, ma'am. Talk about a near-run thing. You all right? Never mind me, are you all right? I'm still on my feet. But we've been fighting for almost 26 hours straight. None of us will be standing for long. There's one other thing I should mention. One of our other listening posts went offline three days ago. I don't know if it's coincidence, a pirate raid, or what. But if you want to check in on them... We'll check on them. I don't know why there are Arachni loose out here, but I intend to find out. Ma'am, we're getting a signal from one of the ground scan UAVs. A big hollow space about 500 meters under the surface. Right, that must be it. That must be where they're coming from. My people aren't in any condition for a clearing His operation. His armor was though. awesome. Just point us in the right direction. You don't have to do that, Commander. We've bled them. We can probably hold until a bigger ship arrives to get us off world. If you want to take a throw at it, we'll give you the coordinates. But it's your call. I'm not going to abandon them. Asses, Commander. Thanks. I know, Ben. That kind of commander would I be if I just abandoned them? This is what I'm in for the four Mako. Oh, yeah, I have to unplug it. I have to unplug it now so I can actually repair it. This is kind of ye old Mako. And hope it doesn't explode the second I get in it. Come on. It's taking a second for some reason to figure out that I need to, yeah. <laughs> like, I have to initiate the repair sequence, otherwise it's still acting like it's fine, even though it's not. Yeah, I like this mission, actually, because it does it does give me a chance to, like, interact with other Alliance people in, a, in an, like, a field situation, which I like. Um, and I think it's the only one besides the actual Rachni quest... Where you, where you get to see, like, the Rachni who have gone crazy. Mm, I knew it. I was like, I gotta come out from somewhere. I'm actually trying to hit the containment unit behind that Rachni. And uh, it's not working. Because the Rachni itself is in the way. I brought the two absolute worst people for this. really exciting gameplay. I'm just gonna tell you that it is, and you gotta believe me. No, it's ah, no, no, fun. Actually, can we just leave? Can we leave? I need Betty Jo. I need to go back to the ship and get Betty Jo. <laughs> Does she say anything about... Yeah. It's strange being a yeah. fugitive from the Alliance. This crew has sacrificed everything for you, Shepard. Don't let us Yeah, die. I should have, like, run this with, like, a very loyal skeleton crew, because I just, like, ruined everybody's careers, technically. <laughs> this feels like the, uh, the meme. This feels like the meme where, like, so, you know, so-and-so, like, insert anybody, you know, comes back from insert plays, and it's like, you know, planet haunted. You know, for Shepard, it's like Shepard shows up, walks in, grabs Meta Joe, and they're like, oh, you're back early. And she's like, just grabs a bunch of metagel and is like, planet's haunted. 
<laughs> and Chuck was just like, what? And she, like, loads up even more. She, like, she, like starts shoving meta gel into her pockets. She's like, planet's haunted. <laughs> and just, like, runs down. Let's try this. Oh my gosh, my sensitivity is unreal right now. Also, I don't know how to I don't know how to access abilities. I can't, I can't do it this way. I don't know how to access my abilities with a mouse and keyboard. The problem with le me playing legendary is I'm not actually that good at the game. And usually people play on legendary in order to like, you know, show off their skills and it's been a w long enough for me having played that uh it's like why are you doing this to yourself <laughs> you know oh my gosh my decryption skill is too low i didn't bring anybody with any tech skills that's fine i didn't need it anyway no weapon Records of the Rachni Wars are just brood warriors. The male-gendered Rachni only fight when a hive is severely pressed. It's safe to say you've eliminated the Rachni on Netflix. Is it safe to say that? Okay, cool. Also, I get one grenade for doing that. Hang on, let me see if this blows up the crate. Oh, it doesn't. Well, that's okay. I didn't want what was in there anyway. I just wanted the satisfaction of doing the right thing, which was mass killing off Rachni. The crazed ones, anyway, I guess. Oh my gosh, I glitched out again. This never ever happened to me in the original version. Like, I, this, this has never happened to me. I'm like 80, 90% sure. I'm like 98% sure this never happened to me. And like, it keeps making me, like when I press forward, it makes me want to go the direction she's facing. So I have to like, I have to like, and like basically go off of the way that I'm facing or that like, I, I have to like adjust my, where my controller stick is going. This is, this is absolutely ridiculous. Let me out. <laughs> Yes, Turian Insignia back. Okay, now we just need one more. One more Turian Insignia. Medallion! Oh, I think we got all the medallions now. Let's go check out this spooky ship. It's all broken, see? It's all broken. I need to bring Garrus out, I think. I actually need to check and see. Let's bring Rex, because, um... I need... I just need everyone to stop dying. Truly. Empty. Everything's shut down. Only basic life support is running. Spooky. How much you want to bet it's husks? How much you want to bet it's husks? It's always. Hear that? Mm. We're not alone. It's always husks on these things, on these ships. <laughs> that was no accident. The whole place could be a trap. Is this the haunted ship? Oh my gosh. I think this is the haunted ship. Or the one that's like, oh my gosh, I think I remember this, but like only very vaguely. <laughs> Oh, here, okay. Okay, I do it from a distance. Maybe. I'm trying to make sure there's none like around the corners that'll Go off. You're booby trapped. Also, the tires move, which I love. I love that the tires move. Oh my gosh, see, there was one there, I didn't even see. 
There's a really cool one. Is it in two or three? Where, like, you get on a ship. It might be on three. Where it's, like, collapsing around you. And you gotta, like, run through. It might be in three. I think it's in three. And it's, like, super dope. Oh, is this the one where, like, everybody killed themselves? Jacob's not going to make it. His brain was deprived of oxygen for too long. There's nothing any of us can do for him now except let him die with dignity. It's what he would want. I'm more worried about Julia now. She's showing signs of severe depression. I gave her some meds that should help. Oh no, she just goes out. psycho. I think I remember I think I remember this now. It's not the haunted one, but it is one where she uh, I think Julia is a person who goes like absolutely psycho. And like kills everybody. Jacob's the only thing in the world that matters to me. I don't know how to help him, but it's tearing me up inside. I just feel so helpless, so damn angry. Dr. Smith gave me some meds to calm down, but I didn't take them. I can't. Not until I figure out a way to help Jacob. I won't give up on him. I won't. Yeah, the problem with giving people medicine is that they have to take it. <laughs> Unless you do like an intravenous drip, while they're unconscious or something. Jacob is showing no signs of brain activity. There's nothing more we can do for him. He wouldn't want to be kept alive by machines, so we're going to disconnect the life support. Dr. Smith is worried about Julia's reaction, though. She can't seem oh. to let Jacob go. The stress is making her implants flare up, causing intense migraines. It'll probably be easier for everyone if we don't tell her until after we shut the life support down. Give her a chance to. Julia, what are you doing here? Why are you... I, I know you're out there. She freaking... Look what she freaking... <laughs> Garrus got stuck out there and he's like, Ah, oh, this is not what I wanted to happen. Enough of that. She used her biotics to kill everybody on the ship. Probably spaced them. And that's Jacob over there in the med bay. I didn't realize they were brother and sister. I thought they were lovers. That machine's keeping him alive. No brain activity. He's dead. His body is nothing but an empty shell. It's Renegade to... I don't know if I've ever actually completed this. I think I've only killed Julia and forgotten to go back to the machine, but I just, like, just now, I was like, oh, like, he's still alive. I'm pretty sure. Like, he's still turned on in the machines. Yeah, he did. I didn't... I, I knew it was something spooky. Because it is pretty spooky. But... It's not the haunted ship. But, yeah. She, she does kill everybody. Um, do you guys remember if if I say we can't help him if I just walk away and leave him? Because I'm not gonna do that. That's no that's no way to like live, air quotes. He's not alive, he's dead. There's nothing left, you know? I'll probably just renegade it because I don't I don't mind too much, but because I hate I don't know, I hate the whole like, you know, oh we can't do anything and you walk away because you don't want blood on your hands, which is like fair, I get it, but like I don't know. Would you want to be left in this situation, you know? <coughs> if someone came by and found your, like, essentially empty shell of a body, would you want to be left there until you just faded away or what? But, yeah. I'll tell them to... I'll go ahead and... I don't know. Maybe I'll, I'll try. I'll try the we can't help him and unplug it thing. Hopefully. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe okay. we should shut the machine down. It's the merciful thing to do. Your caution. Maybe we should wait until we know more about what's going on before we do anything. I mean, I, I did. I figured it out. I think that was just something... I was supposed to trigger that when I went into the room, ostensibly, first or second. So, yeah, let's go ahead and turn it off. Hey, 
it wasn't easy, but that was the right thing to do. I think it's what most people would want, honestly. Like, if there's nothing... I don't know. If there's nothing firing up there, if the person you were is gone, and you're just... I don't know, somehow your, your body is still, like, breathing, but, like, you're gone? Like, why would you want that to remain, you know? Just be at peace, you know? Oh my gosh, we need one one more medallion, one more Turian emblem. Oh, we're getting there. <sighs> I think this planet has, this up here might have an Asari artifact, which I don't need, but, you know, here we are, looking at it anyway. Yeah, we find a dead Asari. Was it two dead Asaris? Yeah, so two dead Asari, or at least one dead Asari, potentially. Yeah. Both suffered single gunshot wounds and have a rifle close to them. Matriarch de la Nega riding. Thanks. Medallion! I forgot the medallion! Yes! That means we finished that one. We finished the, the not the Turian, the Solarian one. So now we just need one more Turian and a few more minerals. Oh my gosh, we're so close. Dang it, I think I have. Now I am going to have to freaking probably like figure out which planets to land on. Also, I still haven't seen Amaranthine. Where's Amaranthine? And also the, uh, oh, I've definitely been here. Um, and the planet with the Prothean artifact. I'll look it up. In the Fortuna system. Do I even have the Fortuna? I don't even have the Fortuna system unlocked. How do you get the Fortuna system? Hang on. Oh, it is that one. It is, okay, Hostile Takeover is the one with Helena Blake. That's right. Oh, man. She has asked you to eliminate two of her unpleasant compatriots. Their bases are located in the Han and Dis system. Man, so we don't get to go to Amaranthine. That sucks. Okay, what is the Prothean artifact? The. Oh shoot, what's her name? What's the Asari's name? In the Attican Beta cluster? Message coming in. New message, Patch nice. Through. Normandy, this is Alliance Command. We're detecting your presence. How did you do Beta that? Cluster. One of our surveillance drones was gathering intel on gap activities in the region when it was spotted and shot down. You need to go ground side and recover the drone's data module before the Geth find it. I'm a stealth ship. How do you find me? Haven't we landed here? No, we haven't, because I haven't surveyed this area. <laughs> Also, we haven't found the lemur planet. Where's the lemur planet? Is this the monkey planet? This is the monkey. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'm like, wow, where's the lemur? It must have like subconsciously triggered in my brain. Even though I did have like a small list of planets I wanted to go to. But I'm pretty sure this is the one where like you try to get the probe, but the probe is like spread out everywhere. Because the little monkey stole it. And you don't know where they are. Like, which, where in particular they are. Yes, it is. I was right. <laughs> Yay! The monkey planet! These this ones are dead. This is the surveillance drone. But where's the data module? A monkey-like creature seems to have made off with the data module. Yes, we're doing this the hard Those ones way. are dead, but, um... The rest of them are in pretty good shape. I think you can, like, kill them all and search their bodies. But only if you're a monster. 
Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. We're so close. We're actually so close. It's amazing. And you have to poke each monkey and see if it poops out a data module. They're all high as a kite, though. That's how I choose to interpret this. Look at them. They're very cute. I would stand and look at them more, but like, you, it doesn't really keep track of the ones you've clicked on. Oh, does it now? Oh my gosh, it used to not. It used to not do that. I swear it didn't anyway. And it was like always just a pain in the butt. Look at these little baby. Look at them go. I think these are pijacks, but I could be wrong. Oh my gosh, we're gonna get poisoned. I know. Okay. Oh, isn't it like all of these monkeys don't actually have it? It's like there's like monkeys underground that have it though. I think that's what it is. Or it's the ones that are next to next to an underground thing. Like a mine shaft. It's all inside. That's good. They dropped Whoa. the data module. It's a miracle the data module is still intact. Joker can transmit this info to Alliance Command. I got Paragon because I didn't kill the monkeys because I'm not a monster. I'm pretty sure I keep getting Paragon, but I think I, I've got it, I've had it maxed out for a while, so I'm kind of surprised. I guess it's more of an indicator for in the future. Like, hey, here's some... This actually... Oh, I know. I didn't know it, but I suspect... Are those... What are you? Yeah, oh. <laughs> that makes sense. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Heavy metal. Yeah, we've completed the heavy metals. There's probably like a way easier way to do this, but uh, I live by the Skyrim Creed, which is uh, I face plant mountains and uh, get up them in about 20 minutes. What it would take a normal person to do in 10? No, 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 no. Alright, we gotta thread the needle here. Thread the needle. You gotta, like, strike a balance between, like, maintaining your speed, but not going off the edge like a psychopath. <laughs> and not overcorrecting. <laughs> this thing isn't even... <laughs> there it is. There it is. Oh, but... But, I didn't even need to go this route, but look at this. I've been like threading this needle on this free mountain ridge. It's amazing. Well, here we are. That's right, I forgot this is also what we were doing here. I got distracted by the pie jacks. Nana, what a very unique place. How odd. What an odd little place. You'll never see its like anywhere else. <laughs> Prothean ruin with the spooky ball. We're just gonna we're gonna mess with this. Like definitely seems like a good idea. That definitely that definitely seems like a good idea to mess with spooky balls. Examining the strange Prothean artifact reveals a small, irregular slot on the underside. Remembering the strange trinket you received from the Asari consort of the Citadel, you pull it out and place it in the slot. The ball explodes in a brilliant flash of white light, momentarily blinding and disorienting you. 
Slowly your senses return as you wake from a deep sleep. You are alone in the forest, though you are not far from the caves you share with others of your tribe. There is a pain in a small lump at the back of your skull, as if a chip of flint has been forced under the surface of the skin. Leaning on your bone-tipped spear for support, you rise to your feet. A sound draws your attention upward, where a strange creature hovers high above you. It is unlike the birds you haunt by the lake's edge. It has no head and no wings, and yet somehow it flies. It is a beast of shining silver, hanging motionless in the sky like a cloud. You, you sense it is watching you, studying you. Raising a hairy fist, you shake your spear at it in anger, and the creature rises up quickly until it disappears from view. With a satisfied grunt, you make your way back to your caves and the rest of the tribe. You fall into familiar patterns of life, the hunt for food, the struggle to claim and fight, keep a mate, the battles against other tribes that would claim your territory. Days rolls into nights and back into days. Each time you rise from sleep, there is a sensation that you are not alone, that some other is with you, sharing all you see, hear, and feel. All these times your hands go to the strange lump at the back of your skull, and you remember the silver creature in the sky. The air grows colder, winter falls. You must range further for food, clutching the furs tight against you to ward off the chill. It is on one of those long hunts that the strange bird returns. You hear it before you see it. It's call a deafening roar as it descends from above, swooping down on you. A single gray eye opens on the underbelly, a glowing red orb. You try to run, but a finger of red light extends from the eye and engulfs you, and all goes black again. You wake an instant later to find yourself on Elatana, lying on your back, the protein artifact looming above you, undamaged, and your companion standing over you. They help you to your feet, puzzled. There was a flash of light, and you just sort of toppled over, one explains. Are you okay, Shepard? The other asks. You don't answer right away, wondering at the implications of what you've seen. The memories of a crow magnon hunter, captured by an implanted Prothean data recorder. How long did they study the primitive humans, observing them and analyzing the results at the base on Mars? And what, if anything, did they learn from us? I'm fine, you finally reply, realizing this is a mystery you'll probably never solve. Forget about it. It's so cool. Oh, I know, it's such a good little Easter egg, but too bad they didn't put in a little cutscene. It is a lot of reading. It's a very text-heavy thing, and I bet you they probably have... Like, they probably wanted to do a cutscene for it, at least a little bit. Which could have been, like, an interesting little, like, mini-game, like, side thing, you know? This is the one that has the DLC. Hopefully I don't... I don't want to do it, so I'm just gonna... Just gonna look at these other things. <laughs> That's right, this is the one... This is the planet that gets put at risk. They're gonna, like... They're taking this asteroid and they're riding it over to this planet and they're gonna blow it up. It's a bunch of Batarians. Jerks. There's nothing. Oh, Asgard, you have Loki, Tyr, Terra Nova. Well, I don't know about Terra Nova, but everything else is very Asgardian. I already got everything here. No. Okay, next one. Oh my gosh and then if we get the last two I was hoping so there, there was three on this planet right and I but I couldn't tell I, I hadn't read ahead yet and I was just really hoping that the one was gonna be a rare element and then the other two would be light minerals and this is just this is working out splendidly honestly I see it I see it oh my gosh I may have just put myself into a hole I put myself into a hole oh my gosh I'm gonna scream I'm gonna scream. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, ah. I'm in the final countdown, the home stretch, and I may just screw myself. I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be so sad. I'm gonna be so sad. <laughs> this is actually so hard. Uh, but I'm an expert Mako driver. Oh, I am undisputedly amazing. Is it down there? Let's see. Oh, I see it. Whee! Don't go in that hole. Don't go in that hole. No, 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 no. No. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yes. Give me out. Give it. Give it. Yes! Completed! Oh my gosh.
gosh, look at that! Oh my gosh, I got them all! <laughs> Where even is it? It should be towards the beginning. Hostage survey is complete. Yes! Poggers! <laughs> 100% poggers! Now I just have to find one more Turian insignia. Okay. A cornucopia. Have I been on the cornucopia? Let's see. Honestly, thought I'd already been here and that there wouldn't be anything in here. <laughs> I was just like double checking corners out of habit. Oh my gosh, that was like physically painful for me. Oh hey, wow! Look at that. In the crew quarters, there's a whole bunch of geth making machines. According to the log files, the ship was out near the Perseus Vale. It seems they found an alien uh -huh. artifact of some kind. They brought it on board and then... This is odd, Shepard. They plotted a course straight into the Perseus Vale, as if they wanted the Geth to find them. That artifact let Sovereign subvert their free will, like he did with Saren. Why else would they fly into Geth space? After that, the entries become confused, as if the captain's mind was degenerating. There is no mention of how the ship returned to human territory. The Geth turned them into husks and left the ship where someone would find it. Trying to show us what happens to organics dumb enough. He's, he would make such a good storyteller, honestly. Yes! Oh my gosh, yes! <laughs> oh my gosh, I got the final one! <laughs> because apparently, I thought I went to, Ca I thought I checked Caspian earlier, but apparently not. I freaking did it. I freaking, it's all done. The evil is defeated. I feel like I ended the game. <laughs> but I still have to go do the final countdown, which now I don't want to do because my game apparently looks like garbage, which also sucks because like I've been playing so much Dragon Age Inquisition and I've been trying to play like my, my, my like PC playthroughs with Talon and Erica on like high quality like 1080p game play, but as much, even if it says it's 1080p, even when I'm, um, like, everything says it's 1080p, including, like, when I upload the videos to YouTube, but it's, like, the crummiest 1080p you've ever seen. And we're gonna go ahead and cut it off there, right when the freaking vent starts blowing. Thank you, vent. I appreciate that. Anyway, uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to my patrons, uh, especially to my sapling tier patrons, Scala Munger, thank you so much, and Reese Galito, thank you so much, you guys. I've been really supportive and helpful, and I appreciate it a lot, and I want to give an extra special shout out to Christopher, who is super awesome, and the greatest, honestly, truly, very supportive, and I, you're just great, thank you so much. <laughs> um, so thank you all so much, and thanks to everybody who's been watching these pixelated episodes, I really appreciate it. I can tell you that the next couple are probably going to still be pixelated, but the next, the last two uh, episodes of Mass Effect 1 are not pixelated, and Mass Effect 2 is not pixelated so far. So, thank you all so much for your patience and your support, and I hope to see you in the next episode.